Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I had an interesting question from um, somebody online. I appreciate the question. The person was asking um, what I, I think the connotation was whether it was fair for somebody's sins to be placed on Jesus or on another. Um, why couldn't that person pay for his own sins? And it occurred to me that, uh, unfortunately, the person was assuming that good deeds done by a person equates to a pass mark with God. So if, if you've not done any bad deeds, then you're good and you're not classed as a sinner. But if, uh, if there's somebody who has, has quote and unquote, sinned, done a bad deed, then that person should be punished by God and his sin shouldn't be put on another. But the, the critical thing here is that the Bible says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There's no, not one righteous on his own. So there's, there, there are no good deeds you do that qualify you before God to say then... Uh, or somebody else does something and then that person is the one who qualifies for punishment. No, everybody de facto has qualified for punishment. And nobody on this earth can walk his way, his or her way out of that punishment by atoning, by paying for what he, ha he or she has done. To get to the point that he, he or she is absorbed, absorbed of guilt. And God in love, in the person of Jesus Christ, chose to come and pay for our sins. It was a choice. He wasn't forced to do it. Out of love, he said, these ones can't do it. I'll do it on their behalf. I'll take their punishment. Because I can receive it so that they might go free. The only proviso there is that they accept it. They believe it. They don't keep trying to do it in their own stead. The sad thing about keeping, keep on, yeah, when, when one keeps on trying is that you're saying that you're good enough, that you are able. Meanwhile, your righteousness is as filthy rags before God. There's no deed that you can do good enough to qualify you. We are all reprobate before him outside of Jesus Christ. So Jesus came, died, and paid for our sins so that we could become adopted into his, the family of God. Outside of that, there's nothing we can do. There's no sacrifice we can make. Nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing. We just condemn before God. But thank God for Jesus Christ who came. The Father said, who will go? The Father had so much depth of love. His creation had erred and was based on divine law, was bound for judgment. The Father, in the goodness of his heart, said, who will go? and rescue these people, who will pay for them. And the son volunteered. Yes, I will go. I will go. Now let us not take that sacrifice in vain. Let us not just disparage what the, the Lord Jesus Christ has done and think in the puniness of our minds, of our, in, the, in the littleness of our puny minds, that we can, of our own accord, atone for our sins. No. We accept what Jesus, that sacrifice Jesus has made on your behalf. It's an eternal sacrifice. And it cleanses you from now till eternity as long as you accept it. Think about it. God bless you. Hallelujah.